Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me. I'm a Google certified innovator trainer and I'm a help community, Jamboard help community, silver product expert. I'm here today to tell you all about using Google Docs in Google Jamboard. So I have a Google Doc right here. And by the way, check out these new link previews. Uh, this is something new, very nice. But let's say I want to use this inside a Jamboard Jam. So let's go get Jamboard, the Android app on my Chromebook. Got it right here. I will click the plus button and I'll click drive content. And I will just have to search for it real quick. So there it is. And you get this very small thumbnail. And my suggestion to you in the app is to do a pinch to zoom. So I'll do the pinch to zoom and that'll make it a little bit bigger. And then with the mouse, I'll just double click. And I can now drag in each page. This is only a one page file as an image. And I've done that. And so now with the pinch to zoom, I'm going to zoom back out on the canvas. I'm going to click the X on this. And then with the select tool, I will drag it into the trash. Let's make sure that got in the trash. All right, great. So with two fingers in the app, I can now grab it and expand it. I'm going to show you the web app real quick. So in the web app, right here, I can highlight it and then move it and then drag on a corner. You can do this with your two finger uh, touch, but it's actually in the web app, it's actually a little bit easier I've found. So the web app kind of good for that. All right, I'm gonna go back to the mobile app for a second. And here is where I can start annotating. So I can start drawing stuff, I can start writing stuff, I can, the fourth pen, is like a highlighter and I can annotate, right? So I can do all sorts, I can annotate on, I can do all sorts of things. The good news is that these four drawing tools right here will always stay on top. Now you notice that this is portrait and jam frames are landscape. So what if we want, now this is nice cause we have like, you know, we got some room here, some real estate here, but what if we want the Google Docs to take up more space? So let me show you what we do there. So first we'll, we'll create a new frame and then we will go back to our Google doc and we will change the orientation in page setup. So file page setup and let's change that to landscape. Okay, so we've done that. Looks a little different now. It actually goes to a second page. And so now in Jamboard, sorry to be going all over the place with you, but that's just to demo this. I'll click the plus. I'll click drive content. I'll again search for my file. And there it is. And again, just zoom in, double click, drag in. You could drag in both. You could drag in one, uh, whatever you want to do. X out of that, pinch to zoom out. And oh, let's get the select tool and throw that in the trash. Now, again, I can do the two finger, two finger pinch or in, actually let's just do the, but it, this is easier in the web app, just so you know. And you see, it's gonna take up much more of the frame now. And now for my annotations and my highlighting and all that, it's going to be a lot more of just like the frame and whatever. Um, and, and that's how that works. So if you want the Google Doc to take up more of the frame, you really need to change it to landscape. You can always change it back once you've done it, right? And that would be that. But the portrait mode, while it doesn't take up the frame and the text is smaller, you at least have a lot of real estate right here. So there's like positives and negatives to doing it either way. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.